Uh, towards New Year, I spoke a message about the United States of America. I said that the divisions in the United States of America will encourage both domestic and internal terrorism. Uh, I still stand by the message uh, which I spoke. Uh, I still stand by the message which I spoke. We must pray for the governmental systems of the United States of America to, to continue to foster peace and unity within the United States of America. Because uh, if a certain segment of their population is left behind, there will be these flashpoints of social unrest, which will make it difficult for that country to go forward. So, this is what I've been seeing in the vision whenever I'm praying. The Spirit of God is saying, uh, we must pray for unity. Uh, the message that I spoke on, uh, at, on New Year, which we published during the crossover night, it was quickly fulfilled on the, on the 6th of January when uh, some people stormed the, the Capitol building where their parliament normally congregates to transact the, businesses or the business of the state. And uh, the Spirit of God was telling me that uh, that's not the last of the incidents which shows the consequences of divisions in that nation. So the powers not to be, those who have got authority of rulership, they will need a lot of intercessors to stand for that nation. The, the Spirit of God was telling me to encourage Christians, evangelical Christians, who may not be happy with the outcome of the elections and the uh, those who are going to take over uh, in a few days' time. Remember, the, the world in which we are living is not the kingdom of God. So we as Christians, let us not be entangled in the affairs of this life. The Bible says there is no soldier who being a soldier becomes entangled in civilian affairs. What that language simply means is that the affairs of this life, they must not entangle us. We must not have so much of a vested interest in what is going on in this dying world. But we must pray for peace because uh, in the United States of America, the, those divisions, they will have a cost. They will have a cost on the stability of the nation state and the ability of the United States of America to go forward. So, and uh, I saw a, a certain superpower. Not that I do not know the superpower, I know the superpower. Because of these internal divisions, I saw a certain superpower in the, another country in Asia which is not a superpower, but which is a trouble-making country. I can just call it a trouble-making country. Shake the United States of America this year. Not once, not twice, but several times. These are countries which President Donald Trump has been able to contain through diplomacy and the through the prayers of the intercessors that he had allowed to access him in the White House. But uh, I saw that the peace that the President Donald Trump, for all his faults, was able to foster, it may be seriously undermined. So I'm not only talking of consequences of internal divisions, but we're also talking of consequences 
from of the stabilization of peace from outside the activities of uh, uh, this country in asia i don't know whether it's a european country or it's an asian country it's both it is going to shake the united states of america it will shake the new rulers they will be shaken and uh, also this north korea this North Korea will do a lot of provocations unless intercessors pray. I see a lot of provocations. Uh, for all his faults, President Donald Trump had tried to, to limit the, the kind of provocations that North Korea can do in Southeast Asia, uh, which may destabilize world peace. But those who will come, they may not have the grace that uh, that was given to this man. They may not have the grace that was given to this man. And uh, uh, the other messages, I'm going to speak to them as we move uh, during the course of the year to intercessors. And the, the prayer points are going to share them to you during the course of this coming week.